Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be using some of the new Wet n Wild Flights of Fantasy limited edition collection today on my face. I'm going to be doing a tutorial with these products today featuring mostly this eyeshadow palette, the Stop Ruffling My Feathers. So if you would like to see how to get this makeup look, just keep on watching and I'm gonna go ahead and get into the tutorial. I went ahead and did my foundation and filled in my eyebrows just to save on time today. And I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids with this Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Vanilla Kiss. So I'm just gonna put that all over my eyelids. I'm just using my Sigma P84 brush to blend that out. Like I showed you guys in the intro, I'm going to be using this new Wet n Wild limited edition eyeshadow palette. I'm going to go in with the transition shade first. I'm just using my Morphe M433 brush to blend that into the crease. This is the first time that I've used this eyeshadow palette, so I'm super excited to test this thing out. I mean, so far that shade is blending really nice in the crease, and it's a good crease color. I do like that. It is a little powdery in the pan. It seems like the same, you know, formula, just like their regular color icon eyeshadows that they have in their permanent collection. It's a good buildable formula. It's really easy to blend. And I'm just kind of working that shade here in the outer V as well. I'm just gonna go in with this shade next. I'm just packing that on with my Sigma E60 brush. And I'm just gonna pat that color all over my eyelid. It's a really beautiful copper, like reddish copper color. It's very pretty. It's almost like a pinkish sunset copper. And I am using the brush dry right now. I haven't gotten the brush wet or anything with MAC Fix Plus. So this, sh this shadow is very pigmented by itself. And I'm just going to go back in with that top transition shade and just lightly blend over the edges and also blend out here in the outer V some more. Just kind of darken it up. Then I'm going to take some of this shade here and I'm going to pop that color right in the middle of the lid. I just got that on this small Wet n Wild concealer brush and I'm gonna mist that with my MAC Fix Plus. And I don't know if on top of this copper you can really see this other shade very much. It doesn't really show up that much over top of that color. It does add a little bit of gold on top, but not, not that much, just not that noticeable. So I might go in with the other shade, the one that says brow bone, and I'm gonna try to pop that in the middle of the lid. Okay, that shows up a little better. Kinda lightens it up a little. 
might be better just to use your finger. Yeah. I'm gonna go in with some more of this shade. Going in with my Morphe M432. Smudging that in. Might miss this brush with some Mac Fix Plus to see if I can get it to stand out a little bit. And then I'm just going in with that brow bone shade and I'm gonna pop that in the inner corner of my eye. For the liner, I'm just gonna go in with my Physician's Formula Eye Booster Pen in Deep Brown. And then for my waterline, I'm just going in with this dark brown Wet n Wild on Edge Long Bring Eye Pencil. For my mascara today, I'm just going in with this Lancome Monster Big Mascara. Just a sample. And I'm gonna go in with several coats of this and then I'll come back and we'll finish out the face. I'm just gonna bronze with my L'Oreal True Match Let Me Bronze It. You guys know the routine on this. So I'm just gonna kind of bronze and contour. Don't have too much going on today. I'm just gonna run some errands, go to the grocery store. I already went out, I already went this morning and worked out. Like I'm trying to get back into the gym since I'm over my sickness now. And um, yeah, I need to just get back into the gym because I had gotten kind of out of shape and I want to get toned up for the summer. I should have already been going before now, but I don't know. It's just so hard to just get back into the swing of things. But I think if I can just get my routines down, I will make it a habit. Plus, summer is always motivating to me. Summer clothes and trips and things. Not that I have any exciting vacations this year. We're not, you know, going really anywhere tropical. We just have like a wedding we're going to in June. And then, of course, in September, I told you guys that I was going to be going to IMATS in Toronto. So, those are really the only two trips that I have planned this year for, I guess, like vacation. Okay, and then for my blush today, I was telling you guys the other day in my chatty get ready with me that I picked up these two new Wet n Wild limited edition blushes. They're color icon bake blushes. And I used Having Bird Height the other day. So today I'm gonna use Don't Flutter Yourself, which is the pink, the pink golden one. And I used this for the first time yesterday and it was really pretty, I liked it. It is a very, like highlighted blush like I was telling you guys in that ch chatty get ready with me so if you're not a fan of that you probably won't enjoy this blush but I kind of like that in a blush sometimes I'm still um I don't know sometimes I like it and other times you know I like a matte blush but and I think this is a really pretty pink color it goes really good with the eyeshadow. I mean, I think the other blush in Hummingbird Hype would also pair really nice with that eyeshadow palette as well because of the golden shades. So I could totally skip the highlight today if I wanted to, but I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of a highlight on the tops of my cheekbones because that's what I did yesterday and I liked the way that it looked. 
So I'm just going in with one of my favorite golden highlights, which is the which is the Balm Mary Luminizer. It's one of my all-time favorite gold highlights. And I'm just gonna brush that on the tops of my cheekbones just to intensify that. It just kind of enhances the gold. I don't know if you can see the difference. So there's that side and then there's this side. I'm just gonna put a little bit right here. Okay, and for the lips, I think I'm just gonna go super simple today and I don't even know if I have it in here. I think it might be in my purse. I'm gonna use the same gloss that I used the other day, that limited edition Wet n Wild Color Icon Gloss in Featherless. Let me go grab it and I'll put it on. Plus, I wanted to show you guys what this looked like by itself since the other day I used it with a lip liner. But this is also a part of that limited edition spring collection, or I guess summer collection from Wet n Wild. So as you can see, it's a really pretty peach. I really love this gloss with this makeup look. I think it looks so pretty. And then I'm gonna mist my face with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer Water Spray. I'm still trying to figure out if I like this or not. I'm just not a big fan of the sprayer so far. Yeah, it just puts out big droplets. It's just not as fine as a mist as I would like for it to be. So I'm just gonna go over top of that with this Urban Decay. Yeah, that one just sprays out so much better. Maybe if nothing else I can dig out, cause I, this is my new bottle, I can dig out my old bottle that I already used up in this and pour this spray into that. Cause it's just so unfortunate that the spray doesn't work right. You guys all have to let me know if you bought this and maybe my sprayer is just faulty or something because it just doesn't spray out very good. Take my hair down. And I was trying to part it on the other side to give myself some volume because my hair was like super flat today. I hope that you guys did enjoy this little tutorial using some of the new limited edition summer stuff from Wet n Wild using this little eyeshadow palette, the Stop Ruffling My Feathers. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up so I know to keep filming tutorials for you guys. If you have any other requests of videos that you would like to see from me, leave those down in the comments. And I hope that you guys have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.